Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's pick up with our colony in this fantastic game, Surviving Mars. And I'm going to pause it and just kind of take in everything that's happening right now. So we finished scanning Sector G2, and we found an anomaly here, which is tremendous. There's also just a whole bunch of concrete um, and other good things and this is my transport um, and it is apparently going to pick up some resources now what about my um, explore where are you at okay you're here so let's go scan this anomaly now um, we found this anomaly fine. And now we have this special project that says launch a SETI satellite um, and grants funding. Uh, multiple uses of this project will yield diminishing returns. So if we want to launch it, um, we can. And it's going to give us a bunch of money. 2,000 million, which, okay. Um, I guess that's two billion. Is that right? Um, now if I launch it up here, I'll get a bunch of research and this is a bunch of money. So I'm fine with this. Um, the money looks good. Let's launch it and available rockets on earth. Um, this one. And so let's just send our main rocket, uh, a away and it's sitting here actually. Um, so, this rocket is going to a special project. Okay, fantastic. Um, we've got our dome that's hooked up, but before we do that, looks like I need a pipe over here, um, to connect water from this to that. So, let me see if I can just do that, and then right-click again and unpause, and hopefully the drones will build that. Now, my buddy, um... I Am Not a Moose has been explaining, he's also playing this game and has a whole bunch of fabulous tips and explained a good bit of the particulars to me. For example, heavy drone load um, has been explained and I feel a lot better. All that me means is that every drone at a particular hub is doing something and then there's other jobs to do and there's no drones to do it. So it's kind of saying, hey, we could use some more drones in this section. Uh, and that's, you know, fine. All right. We still have power problems at night. Um, but we don't have any machine parts yet. Um, and so we can't really do much about that for the time being. Because I can't build any more wind turbines. Now this rocket is doing a special project. What if I wanted to... Well, wait. Go ahead and do it. Do I need to do anything while it does that? Oh, it's... It's collecting all of these parts to do the project. And so it needs like a bunch of fuel and electronics. And I actually, so that's what, I was like, oh, you just get to do this for free. No, it takes a lot of stuff to do the SETI satellite. So let me see what I have in, in this, um, in the sense of, I want to build some, I can build an electronics factory. Oh, that's right. I brought prefabs for a machine part factory, but it takes people to work those. Um, what I need is like a fuel refinery, but I can't build this at the moment. We would need to research this. And where do we research this? Um, I don't know. But I will tell you that, um, I believe I, I was watching a, a video with Quill18 about this, and he was explaining that all of the research trees are randomized. So it's not like you can just, you know, plan and be like, okay, we're going to just very, very quickly, uh, you know, skill tech to this particular. Uh, part of the tree we, we 
you don't know where things are going to uncover. So it randomizes each game. Civilization has an option to do that, I believe, as well. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to just build some other things. Advanced probes. Um, okay. What is this? That's nice. Rece receive a one-time funding of like a billion dollars. That's cool. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I'll do that. Okay. Close. So, now, I believe it is time, given what we're doing. And, you know, all I have to do is just say to myself, okay, this requires five power, um, but I could just turn it off at night, and then you'll see my power goes from eight, minus eight to minus three. And so I could just turn off some buildings at nighttime, and just use my solar panel a little bit more efficiently. So I could be like, hey, you know, um, oh, and all of these wind turbines that I built down here, oh, they are getting five power, but I thought maybe because they were low down, they might not be getting full power, but they are, that's fine. Um, and then let me just turn off this one at night. And our power situation is fine. Okay. So, we're all set with power, and I think it's time to attend to this drone and start trying to get some people here. Building's not working. Which one? Um, it malfunctioned. Oh, but I, it broke, and we can't repair it, unfortunately. These are all going to break because they require maintenance, and we don't have any of the parts. So, we're going to be having some serious power concerns very soon. All right, so what we're going to do then is just um, go into here, and we're going to build um, drone uh, dome stuff. Oops. Homes, education, and research. So let's build a living complex there. And um, let me... Go ahead and build um, another one there. And then let's build um, a space bar there. And then let's build, uh, no. No, no, no. I need to build, like, a, a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. And then... Uh... I guess like that? Maybe that would do it? And then one more thing, which would be... Oh, no, this is a hydroponic farm. I don't think I need this. Let me... Um... Let me salvage that. I need to build, like, the... The grocery. Um... No. I know there's a grocery type of thing. Yeah, the grocer. Here we go. Okay. So that should be enough, theoretically. And we're running low on um, electronics. So at some point, we're going to need a resupply. And we're going to need um, a cargo rocket that's just filled to the brim with, like, machine parts and electronics like this. Um, and let's see, what else do we want? 
Give you a little food. I'll take an orbital probe. Uh, we'll take some drones. And uh, a few polymers, food, probe. Okay. This is looking better. All right. And we're going to just um, launch this. And hopefully it comes to us. Okay. Yeah, we've got malfunctions all over the place. But unfortunately... Oh, nice. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So cool. long as you know where to look. So it says, um, even the tiniest simple looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which perplex the human mind for generations. Sometimes it just takes simple discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe an encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence and into the future and so they've revealed subsurface heating and water reclamation so that's really really good um, and they've been revealed to us so um, this is steam reconstruction what about where did subsurface Oh, here's water reclamation. Cool. And here's subsurface sur heating. So we just kind of made... We, we explored further down the tree. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to have to build some more uh, solar panels over here because these um, wind turbines are just breaking. Um... So if I built one like right there, and then I built a uh, accumulator right here, and then I connected this um, to this, and then I connected this to uh, that, then we'd have a path, and I would just need to build um, some more solar panels like, you know, maybe there and there and then I can just cable like that and that should do it let's see how this goes and you're having a heavy load here because you don't have enough drones so are there drones that I have that are just doing nothing for the time being a lot of these drones are moving No, I think we just don't have enough drones for the task at the moment. What is this? Rock? Rock? I wonder why we got all this rock waste. Does this water extractor produce waste? It's odd, but that's fine. Let's build some storage then. A dumping site. Let's just put it like... Um, oh, I guess right there. And hopefully they can, you know, make this happen. I'm going to speed it way up. Now, we are getting these things built inside. So, I think it's time for us to request people to live here. So, let's go ahead and just launch a passenger rocket. Um, the Liberty One. No, we're going to call this the Incompetent um, Crew. Uh-huh. And we have, like, some random people here. Uh, let's see. Medic, botanist, scientist, officer. I'm going to just kind of launch it with the applicants that they have selected automatically. I don't know how they do that. Um, but I'm going to hope that it doesn't matter too much uh, for the first ship, but maybe it does. And then I'm going to feel 
just really bad about things. Okay. Um, we need more fuel. We need more metal, and we need more electronics. Let's go. Let's speed it up. Uh-huh. All right. I, I'm going to just disregard these messages for the moment. We built everything that we could. And let me see if we do end up with any drones that are lying around. I wish there was a... You know, I bet there is. Let me look at this. Options. Controls. Um, no. Uh, key bindings. Is there a way to shift around to, like, uh, idle drones? This is just for, like, building specific things, but these aren't for um, controls in the game. Let's see. Next rover, next dome, next building... Follow camera, clear pins. Nah. Not that I can see. So I'm just trying to, like, figure out... Um... No, not this. Uh, let me see... My drones. The drone load is medium here. That means they're all working, sector you know. Scanned. Anomaly found. All right, so we finished scanning this sector. Oh, and actually, let me take my explorer and start hitting up all of these anomalies. We've got a bunch. And, oh, you've got four drones in you. All right, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to move you over here and just have you un unleash your drones because um, they're not doing anything and we need some help. Our power is going way down because the dome requires power. So I think what we'll do is um, you know I like that this displays how much you have in terms of surplus but I want to make sure we have enough stored up because what I'm thinking about is maybe, um, like something like this. I'm going to turn it off at night. I can probably turn off a lot of these things at night. I want the fuel refinery open. I'll turn off this water extractor at night. And this uh, water extractor is already off at night. And then this one. And then now I don't have any power problems anymore. Okay, you... I would like you to deploy your drones and hopefully they can actually start doing stuff. So they are. So everybody's now working over here. They're moving the waste rock. They're going to actually build these solar panels that I had asked for a long time ago. You can see the, the pace of the rockets that I have asked to be built, like when they're going to get here. They're filling up. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Great. Milestone achieved. We got a milestone. Oh, speaking of the milestones, Nautimus was telling me that, like, somewhere on these mission profile here, you can see um, that the sponsor that you pick gives you rewards if you hit certain goals, and there's, like, a time limit on a lot of these. So hopefully we can get this. Have 30 colonists on Mars. We have none. Martian-born colonists, we have none. Machine factory, polymer factory, and electronics factory. We're going to do that as soon as we get people here. And then here's some other ones. So these are like some other goals to just aspire to that will give you some cool uh, rewards. All right. So we got this milestone. And um, it helped us. We got a bunch of research right there. I mean, we have a ton of research. Um, 
And what that did was it basically instantly completed the research. It's kind of like in Civilization when you get one of those goodie huts and they just give you the uh, science that you needed and you just instantly finish your research. That's what it feels like, uh, which is great. Now let me go to my research menu, actually. Um, no, not this one. Yeah, this. So we're working on superior pipes. And then we're going to get to some of these others. Um, let me go ahead and look at what I want to build to. Uh, this gives us like a bunch of research bonus. So let's do that. Okay. And the rockets are almost here. What is this? This needs people. I got it. So nobody can work at the grocer because, you know, there's no people. Hopefully we have enough stuff for everybody. Oxygen-wise. I could build some more, like... I could build another Moxie, for example, if I needed it. And just kind of throw it, like, um, over here. And then cable it. Like that. And then we can pipe it like that. Perfect. Now that looks good. All right, let me look at my um, explorer. I should actually queue up just all of these anomalies. That's what I, to be more efficient. So go here and then go here. And then do we have any more anomalies than those two? I don't think so, but good. All right. And then let me just um, get back to our base. Oop, let me change the rotation a little bit. And let things get built. And then this is ready. So the supply rocket can come in. We're going to land it over here. And the reason we're doing that is it. I understand that they kick up dust. And so let's just have these come in. Um, kind of far away so that people don't get uh, the dust doesn't fly up. I'm going to put this one here just so people have a short distance to travel. There they come. So the rockets are coming in. I can see this and I'm just going to unpause it or I'm going to speed it up rather and let that happen. Milestone achieved. And we're going to pause it. We got a milestone. First human on Mars. We get a bunch of extra uh, research, which is actually a lot. And Full a new beginning. And determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. They have. The next ten souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also with great promises and opportunities. It's now to us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches, and the future of the human civilization, even the most epic adventures, begin with a single step. So, because of this, um, arrival of additional colonists has been suspended, and we get this, like, probation period, aka don't kill everyone, um, and then you can also... try to get somebody born before that happens if you want to go faster um, but first we're on the founder stage since the founders number is limited to the capacity of the rocket yep I didn't really hand pick so that was a mistake which is that I should have probably hand picked my people more I just kind of let it all hang loose and took who they gave me and uh, not my best day perhaps now our supply rocket has arrived so that's terrific um, and we need to get these babies unloaded so let's just unpause it and let it go and let's see what the people do when they come out look at this here they come here come the the crew, and they've got like blue suits on, they're running down. 
and the gravity is helping them just bound around looking cool. This is Versalina Grigorova, and she was the first person to jump off the rocket. Um, colonists have several basic stats. You can monitor the condition of each colonist in their info panel. To maintain their good health, you need to provide them with water, oxygen, food. Oh, really? And access to operational service buildings. Right. So I guess I have to give them oxygen. Um, fine, we can do that. Now, they're going to go through this cool doorway over here. So let's watch them do that. They want me to build a research lab. Okay. So if I go to build and then I go to research and I go to lab, I could throw a lab in here. Fine. Like that. And let's just let this happen. I the also want to... Colonists have arrived. All right, so we got the colonists. And yes, indeed, the... Um, Drones are coming to unpack this ship. And there's only a few polymers over here, so hopefully they'll get everything we need. Now now we have the machine parts that we need to fix everything, I imagine. So... Um, you should be able to get the supplies, the... The concrete. Oh, we need concrete. We ran out of concrete? Let me check that out. What happened there? Oh, it broke. Um, I'm going to turn it back on daytime. Um... All right, hopefully somebody can come service it. We have machine parts now, so I'm going to speed it up and just kind of see what happens with that. Hopefully the drones start fixing it. Um, let me see, like, do I have any drones that are just doing nothing? We got a medium drone load. Um, I want this to be like... Oh, no, now I have 148 concrete. Okay. So. Oh, it's just that nobody has brought concrete over here. Right. So, huh. All right. I need you to do that. Hmm. All right, the drone load is low for these drones. I think what I need to do is move this um, Universal Depot. Like, I'm going to salvage it. And then I'm going to build another depot closer. Right. Let's just say, like, right... Uh, here and hopefully sector now scanned. select a sector to scan all right great uh, this one yep there we go you got heavy drones good we got problems <laughs> we need to get all of this stuff fixed These drones aren't doing anything, so let me just um, have this guy uh, recall the drones. Anomaly analyzed. And then go to where the heavy drone load is, like up here. Good There's new text more to available. The barren environs of the red planet that meets the eye. I guess. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Mm-hmm. So um, we got decommissioned protocol and systematic training unlocked. Excellent. Um, now, let's see if I can get everything built.
that I need. You need metal? We clearly have metal. But where is it? Why is it not showing up? Is it... Like it says I have 32 metal. But it's... Oh, it's all on this guy. Alright, let's have you then... I need you to come back to base, and I need you to um, unload the metal right there immediately. We're not ready for the special project yet. Okay. All right, I need you to, um, or no, I'm sorry, deploy your drones. Everybody needs to get to work here. Good. Fix things. Build things, please. All right, now this new depot is built. Eventually now, hopefully, they can get concrete to this. What do you have? They've got something. They're bringing a piece of something. They're, fi they're bringing machine parts to fix um, the, the turbines, or even just complete the turbines, I guess. Um, yep, these are on. I'm just going to try to connect these while this is getting built. Now we have a huge surplus. We've got bad news. Uh oh. The RC Explorer investigating the anomaly accidentally released a pocket of high pressure gas. Oh my god. The carbon dioxide erupted, damaging the rover and lifting tons of fine dust into the atmosphere, forming a dust devil. The red planet reminded us how dangerous an alien world can be. Expect fierce dust devils to form at the anomaly location. Okay, so where was that again? Let's just not ever be near the anomaly again let me go to my explorer it's right here so this is where the dust devils will be all right so we just have to not be near them seems simple enough i'm gonna have you go over here you got damaged i know all right i'm gonna keep the uh speed back up and let's see let me go back in here now all of the buildings that we asked to be built anomaly found are built oh would you find an anomaly great oh that doesn't look good well anyway um explore go check it all right the drone load has gone down to low good problem to have have we built everything just about you then um, now you can deploy your drones whatever they're not we need help so let's just work and then okay good you dropped off the metal let's go get some more metal okay good our stored water is not good though we could use more let me build another water facility uh-huh Let's get that built. All right, how's it going in here? How are the people doing? All right. We have 16 vacant residential slots, so I probably built more houses than I needed. 
But that's okay for now. Six unemployed seeking work. Oh, it's because this isn't finished yet. The um, research lab. We need concrete for that. Well, we have concrete. We need metals for that. We should have metals. People, get to it. Um, where is... Ah. Yeah, go here. Get your drones in here. We need these pieces put together. Okay. Now I'm going to speed it up a little bit more. And... What is this? Oh, it's a drone that needs to recharge. Okay. I'm going to pause it, and I'm just going to tell you to... Um... Oh, where are your drones? Recall your drones. Deploy them. There they go. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Whoa, a thousand research. Superior pipes. Great. All right. That looks good. Huh. They're still not building this. Where's our concrete? It's here. I don't understand why nobody can take this concrete. Like, I have drones that are just sitting here. Can you... Um, get that? You guys. Can't you get this concrete? We need more drones down here. I don't think I could build drones, though, because I need prefabs. Mm-hmm. All right, well... All right, now we're down. We finished it. We finished the buildings, finally. So now the uh, unemployment is done. There's nine disabled work slots, so everybody's employed. Good. We're filling up, what is this, food? Yeah. Okay. And let me just check my explorer. Is there an anomaly for anyone to, for you to check out? Now go over here, and then you are, um needing to gather resources and then when you're done I want you to go back to Research the complete. metal place and um sector scanned anomaly found great see there we go all right Oh, that rocket just took off. It must have had everything it needed. Oh, we can uh, orbital probe. That's right. Oh, got more anomalies. Great. Building's not working. Which one? Oh, it malfunctioned. Alright. Needs metal. We have metal. Or should. Maybe I need to move the metal depository closer. Um, this. I want to salvage it. Yeah. Fill another storage place for um, resource specific and then just metal. Put it right over here. 
Alright, good. Hopefully this works. Okay. Alright. So looking up here, we still need more water. This is trying to get built, but we are short on concrete. And maybe, yeah, my concrete thing is just needs to be moved. Um, either that or what I'll do is I'll just build a um, specific depot for concrete right here. We got fuel compression done. Yeah, let's do this. That's nice, okay. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Nice. Uh, we got some more anomalies. Where's my re uh, explorer? Hit that one. Where's my RC transport? Yeah, you're full up. Go dump everything. What do you have mostly? Metal? Go hit it here. Can you build this now, anybody? Where's your drones? This guy. Oh no, you're doing that. Where's you? Okay, yeah, collect your drones. And we're gonna go back down here. We need to finish all this stuff out. We got water problems. We've got water problems. This deposit is depleted, so all the concrete is gone. So we can just salvage this, and we gotta build another one. You'd think the explorer had found buried treasure the way our scientists were reacting. Wow. It was a sulfur-rich regolith. The explorer vehicle gathered various soil samples from far and wide around the anomaly site and fed us to data. For hours, the telemetry was filled with buzzing chatter as the scientists at Mission Control discussed the implications of the element and made incentive, uh, inventive plans about the future. The time of the expedition was limited and we urged them to make a decision. So we can get a bunch of research or we can reduce the cost of engineering checks by 10%. I'm going to take a, a short-term boost. And so we got the money from Mar Mars crowdfunding and then now... Um, Oh, okay. Uh, nice. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Suggested building garden. Yeah, let's build it. So it's a dome service? No, maybe it's a decoration? There we go. Enjoy it. All right, we're gonna get a garden built. And they finally finished this. So hopefully our water situation gets better. What does this need? It's malfunctioned. All right, we need metal. Is anybody getting metal? What do you have? I pray that you do. Fix this, please. No. You're doing something over here. Um, deploy your drones. Get them out there. Yeah, okay. So, can't you guys go get metal? Okay. Close. Good. Research complete. Earth Mars initiative completed. Um, yeah, polymer factory for sure. We want that. Close. We've got six days left in the founder, or six souls left, I guess, in the founder phase. And I think we're doing really well. Um, we still could use more water. 
and we're going to run out of concrete so we need to build um, drone hubs up here so we got to go over to infrastructure and we've got the drone hubs um, But we gotta leapfrog it until it says one, and then um, we gotta cable connect this. Okay. All right, that should do that. Hopefully, that can happen. All right, we got more drones, and then now we need to build another drone hub that's within reach of this. I think at the corner is probably the best space for that, and then we'll just build a cable connection, something like this. There we go. All right, so hopefully they can do that. And we need to gather more concrete and water. Sector scanned. Excellent. Where are we getting the, the heavy drone? Oh, I hate that. Sometimes I'm on cable and I forget. There we go. All right. That's better. It's this one. Man, I need more drones there so badly. Okay. Um, let me look at my explorer. And there's got to be an anomaly. There is. Let's go here and get that in. All right. Great. Perfect. Well, now we're expanding. These drone hubs finished very quickly. So we can build... Um, would be a production concrete extractor right there and we're going to connect uh, a cable from here to here okay great can we build a uh, water extractor here we can. It's very, it's rather far away, but we can do it. And we can build another concrete extractor as well, I think. Um, nah, it's too far away. I need another drone commander, but I don't think I have one. That's okay. We're getting there. Here comes the water pipe. Miles and miles of water pipe. But we can connect it right there or There. Great. All right, everybody. Well, we've got this going, and we're expanding in this direction. We've got people on Mars, and now we're cooking with gas. And we'll continue this next time. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care.